Hey everyone, welcome back. So we have been creating few test cases from a while now. So we have created few smooth test, few regression test cases. And if you remember in the beginning itself while we were doing the setup of this project, we have already configured one reporting tool. That is earlier reports. So if I scroll down here in this configuration file, and if you come to the section where we'll see reporters. We have selected two report, one is a spec, another is allure. A spec is step by step, it will show in the command line and the allure report is which we can going to explore now today. Just to make sure that you have this allure report installed, first verify this configuration file, you have something like this. And in the package.json, make sure that you have at the rate WDIO allure report already installed. I'm using version 7.9, so I have similar version based on your current version that you are working on it you need to check on it now when we so this basic test is already there we just need to install now a few dependency and we will be able to generate the report so first i'll show you let me execute one few sample test cases and then let me show you that how it is already creating a test folder or report folder and then we need to see from that folder how we can generate a particular html uh, proper report so first let me what i'll do just for an example we have already this smoke test where we have three files so i'll run all these three file to run this smoke test we have seen already in the previous videos we just need to say npm run smoke now when we say npm run smoke in configuration file we have created this script which will run this smoke suite this smoke suite is where in the configuration file and it is here right so when we say smoke it will run all the feature file under smoke folder that is this folder we have three files let's just first execute and see uh, what we are getting so notice here we have visual, uh, vs code node modules src and test folder only as of now now i'll run this we'll have one failure and two pass let's just wait for the execution to complete so it's just trying to execute the test And something has failed that was expected one failure and no the reason as well so we'll fix that later but let's just see see that what is the failure scenario and how it looks like in the report so I have kept it for failure scenario itself so it will execute all three feature file and third feature is executing execution completed and if you scroll up it says that two passed three failed total of three right now if you notice here this allure result folder is creating every time i was executing in previous videos as well this folder was creating by default because while doing the basic configuration itself we have selected this reporting tool this allure result tool and because of this it is creating output directory called allure results which is nothing but this this will not give you the proper view of the code it will just have few json files only okay it will not give any meaningful name okay to generate the particular uh, report from this folder first things let's go through the documentation of it so i am in this website of webdriver io under docs allure reporter here so under docs reporter and this allure reporter this is how the allure sample report looks like and how we can configure so let's see First, we need to have this dependency. This version is old, but yeah, we need to have this dependency, which we already have. So if I minimize it to here and go to package.json, if you want to check any dependency, we should come here. So we already have a Leo reporter. And if you don't have, then you can install with this command. So if you don't have this right, you can install in this command. And then we need to have these steps in our configuration file. So as of now, we have very basic configuration itself in this reporter section of wdio config.ts uh, what i'll do i'll just copy this complete line okay so from allure till this what i'll do let me copy from the first array itself i'll copy this i'll leave spec as it is okay i'll delete this enter a new line tab tab and here i'll paste it right I'll just arrange it a bit so that we'll be able to see clearly. Yeah. Enter. Enter. And one more enter. 
So first one is for spoke, sorry spec, and then we have this audio recorder, which this we have copied from nowhere but this configuration file. I'll leave these details in the description as well. So just copy and paste this here. Okay, this is the basic setup is there. One more thing we need to add here is use cucumber step. That we will see in the later videos. But for now, let's just see this. So add this in your file. Okay. Now another thing, let's see what it says. There are so many other steps that we can customize that we'll be seeing in the future videos. So how we can add further things. But for now, one thing we'll add here: use cucumber steps reporter, which will help for cucumber related. Okay. So by default, it is um, false. So you can just copy this. Make it true. Make it true. Make sure you have comma added here. So this will help for cucumber steps execution. Then scroll, keep on scrolling. We'll see all this in future videos. But for now, ignore this as well, and then come here. Now it says that how to display a report. So to display a report, you need to have command line, a your command line. Okay. So it says how you can install. So there's a link. Install a your command line. I'll open this in the new tab. And if you see here, this is the installation command. npm a your command line. Okay. So I'll copy this. What I'll do? I'll just install this here. But I'll save this as a dev dependency. So I'll say npm install a your command line hyphen hyphen says hyphen dev, and install it. I'm following this just this documentation itself, right? So it says that install all your command line. Now let's see. Yep, installation is completed, and just to make sure that this is done, go to package.json and see here all your command line is installed, right? Once this is done, see here what is the next step. You need to run this step, so you can say allure generate and the report directory. The, our directory is what allure hyphen results and then allure open. Okay, and it says this will generate report by default allure report. Let's copy this. Okay, or I can just click here. It will copy. Now you can you, you need to try to run from here. Okay, so once if you try to run from here, first modify this command because we need to give this as a our project report directory for that this is allure hyphen results allure hyphen results if you run this command now you will get an error allure is not recognizable though we have installed allure so what you have to say npx and then run this command still it will throw you an error but for now just copy this and save paste here now you see that we have only allure results. Now enter here, click here. You might get error after this execution complete. But let's just wait for this. It will take some time. Now you see one allure report folder is created, but it will give you still it will give you allure because allure is not recognized as internal command. What is happening when you try to run this allure command line? If you install this as a global um, installation, global dependency then you will not get this error but we have kept this only for this project right so it will give you this what you can do just copy this command and let's create a script we have already created a few scripts in the previous video in this package.json here so one is for all the tests one is for a smoke one is for regression similarly let's create a script for generating a report itself so i'll add comma in double quote i'll say report this will be for report colon and then paste your command inside this for uh, in the inside this report variable itself here you don't have to in say npx allure generate the folder name that you have for our report that is allure results and allure open right now add one more thing space here hyphen hyphen clean and space what it will do every time you generate a report if you have already existing allure report it will clean this folder and then create a fresh report from this existing report okay now let me run this now to run execute this command line you have to say npm run and this variable name that is report first let me clear this command line and say npm run and then report which is nothing but this one now let me just hit enter it will delete this and it will create again 
and it will open automatically this browser see deleted right it will create created again now it will open this in the your default browser so if your default browser is ie or edge it will open my default browser is chrome so it opened here right now you see the report is generated with all the details so how many suites we have executed three it's showing three total of right in that 13 test cases are there that means 30 scenario and here the report name will be nothing but if you see here which test we have executed in the beginning itself only this smoke suite so in smoke suite it each feature whatever you have name given as a feature that will display as a here in the suite name okay so here what we are saying test multiple environment so test multiple environment and then get app title nothing but this scenario name for other if you see here similarly for others as well so if you see wait text right wait type demo and then test different wait types wait types demo test different wait types so whatever you have in the feature following the scenario it will be having this report name here correct so let me just close this now we are able to execute the report there was some failure here so if you see here it is showing 84 percent pass there is something broken and there is something is some test is skipped so if you want to see what went wrong here you can click on this it will take you the step now it will not be in an arranged manner one two three so you can order here filter you know order if you can click here as of now it is shorted by name i can click by order number so now it is one two three click on this so you have multiple step click on this if you come here in the right side it will show you where it failed okay so it failed here itself and what was the error invalid url was the error right so we are able to generate a report proper report and it, it will show you in how much time it took how many the total number of tests uh, what are the failures and which is the failure it will show you the error log as well right so we, we, we are good now and we are able to generate in the next video or in upcoming videos we will see how we can include some screenshot on the failure scenario and then how we can customize further customize this report to make it more meaningful that's all for this video thank you so much